another episode of Rags to Riches, The Refined. Bye! Natalia. Diana. Megan. Well, um, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> so we've been talking about relationships um, in this series and um, we're kind of talking about just how, I think it's hard a little bit, you know, like the longer, I think you said it earlier, the longer you're single, the, the harder it is it gets, <laughs> to accommodate because somebody else. I feel like you start, and so what you were saying, because you spent, was it two or three years? Like you had to bring your own, yeah. so you then you are forced to operate in your masculine yeah. energy, mm-hmm. and it's like you lose some of your femininity, mm-hmm. and then when you get into a relationship, it's like you're expected to like switch into it, <laughs> but it's like you built yourself yeah. to do that, and I, I don't know if it's just me who finds it a bit like I'm, I can be a little bit masculine, I think, mm. and then, but it's like I don't want to be, yeah, like I want to be feminine, yeah. yeah. But then, like we were saying in the other episodes, like when you have men around, that it's like you're constantly having to do things. Because, for example, if something needs doing, like a washing needs doing, for example, yeah. you're not going to leave it there, or the bin needs changing, yeah. and taking out. You're not going to leave it there until it stinks up the house. Because yeah. mm-hmm. they're like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. You're going to have to do it. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's stinking it up the house. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you open the door, whoo. Exactly. Yeah. I think it's important to like be clear that masculine energy or um, having a man doesn't equate to doing chores in the house or whatever like that or certain chores are like taking out the bin and stuff like that but it is that doing energy Mm -hmm. where as feminine as women um to be feminine is to be more um (laughs) (laughs) baby girl (laughs) you know we're incubators (laughs) yeah and so i think it does grow hard to be in Inter independent, yeah. Um, um, and you do find yourself because you obviously you are like you said used to operating um, as an independent person. Yeah. I don't even say woman, just as an independent person, yeah. and especially if you're um, a very like type A yeah. type of woman. I know that you are, you are, I am. You seem mm-hmm. to be the same, so you're quite like you, you, you're quite. I'll go straight, straight just forward. straight to it. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> well, I, you, just I'll get on. <laughs> and so I, I, I know for me, I find myself like, you know, having to kind of catch myself mm. in those moments, you know, even in just like how I even speak mm-hmm. to the man that I'm dating or even just speak to any man. Yeah. And I love like, I think my, my pastor, my prophet, I think he's an amazing example mm-hmm. of a man. And I've really found myself really training mm-hmm. um, how to be in the feminine mm-hmm. and just and how to be a godly woman mm-hmm. um, under his um, leadership. Mm-hmm. Um, and so even just things <coughs> like, you know, if I'm going to yes. like another church, yeah. I think it's important um, to kind of like let him know or if I'm going to like, you know, I'm not speaking at other places, yeah. but, you know, so he knows like where I'm What's going, yeah. but also it's important for him for even him to know as like my spiritual covering. Yeah. Um, so that I'm not exposed yeah. to like weird doctrine and yeah. stuff like that. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So just like ex- exhibiting that submission, humility. That growth, it does take growth. Because mm. we have such an independent spirit. Yeah. That to our own detriment. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. It's like I would I'm my own person. Yeah. I'm a growing woman. Yeah. I will do what I want I when I want. Yeah. 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 But to now submit especially to have someone that's it's your covering it's yeah. not your father or that person didn't birth you yeah to like communicate oh i'm not going to be there on sunday i'm going to be that place yeah. or like i want to do this is this okay like yeah. to get that advice it's like oof. I yeah. think as well, it's 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 uh, the the definition of what submission is. Mm. I think that's exactly what most people. I'm not submitting to anybody. Mm. I, I don't. I think it's the mis misinterpretation of what it means submission. is what. Submission as soon as you say the submission, everyone's like, I'm not doing that. But if you understand what it means exactly, but if you understand what submission is, mm. you probably find submission ain't a problem. Mm. I think that. Um, I think as women, naturally, we're built to... That's in us to be submissive. Mm-hmm. But I think through the things that we've been through yeah. and, that, like, losing trust in people we've submitted Key. ourselves to, mm-hmm. yeah. that's made us to be so much more, like, guarded. Yeah. And then to be expected to just submit because you're a woman, yeah. I think 
that that's not fair. That's where that is the translation <laughs> yeah. becomes a bit mm. you know, because yeah. it's like, well, you're dismissing what I've gone through. It's not because it's not that I don't want to be submiss- yeah. submissive. Yeah. Mm. I've gone through something which I need to break yeah. out of because sometimes you want to, you don't you don't you see ugly parts of you you don't want yeah. Mm. You don't want to live that way. Yeah. You know, and to pe- to have people to condemn you because of your behaviours rather yeah. than to try and help you. Yeah. I think that's quite detrimental. Yeah. True. Yeah, you do need an environment of safety. Yeah. yeah. I think we are happy to submit like you said, but I think it becomes in the right easier environment to submit in the yeah, right environment. Exactly. Yeah. A, a woman can be submissive, just like you said, but to who? Mm-hmm. <laughs> any men will just stand up. Man, I made you. I paid the bride price. I paid the bill. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. But we're, we're somewhere. I, I don't feel like I should be listening to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you're not giving me that energy. You're not showing me that you can be a protective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you can be a leader. Yeah. yeah. Or you can do even little little stuff in the house. Yeah. Like, to yeah. Make me ease up, uh, and I'll be like, she just have to do everything on my own then. Why are you in this house? Submission. <laughs> <laughs> Because you have to be careful because you could submit yourself to somebody who is going like they could be doing harm to you but because he's the man and, yeah and i feel like a lot of our parents parents kind of went through that they stayed in certain relationships mm. in abusive relationships mm. just yeah. because but yeah. was that submission do we need to in separate that sort of do you get what i mean mm-hmm. is that submission or is that like self-affliction like because oh again, again culture or again or because you just told yeah. like mm. you, when we were young, you stuck with it. Yeah, yeah. You stay for your children. You do this for your kids. Yeah. But then you're getting a bitting. You're staying for your children. So it, it becomes what was then, what was okay. And sometimes it was the shame you bring on the family yeah. if you're getting separated from your husband or whatever the case was. Yeah. They had to stay in for the sake of whatever was going on yeah. in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the moment mm. or in that generation. Yeah. But I, th- I think ultimately, like, if we are submitted unto God... Because ultimately, like, my obedience is unto God. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? We're yeah. submitting because, like, this is, like, an order and a pattern. Mm. Mm. Like, designed by God. Do you get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Submission is not the problem. Mm. And sometimes I feel like we need to be able to separate, like, what that... What that means what and that what that is. And what exactly. that looks like. The word and of God is our weapon. Different. God doesn't want us to yeah. be... Abused. Yeah. Or yeah. submitting. And I think it's important as women mm. of God, as especially... Um, with God as our head and our leader, yeah. mm-hmm. our Lord, that we follow his direction. Yeah. <laughs> do you get what I mean? So we do not end up putting ourselves in predicaments yeah. where we are submitting to the wrong man. Yeah, sometimes, think, go yeah, on. I was going to say, because sometimes you can get yourself in a situation God didn't put you in there. God did not put <laughs> you there, baby. Like you, you, you're in a relationship and God is like, and now you're being abused, mm. like you're completely losing yourself and God's like, I didn't call you to that relationship. Yeah. Mm. And so, again, then we start defining that that's, that's submission. And mm. it's like, no, that isn't it. Like, yeah. you need to come out of, but you, maybe you need to go to God for God to intervene. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we take that and then, you know, we take that on God and mm. we say, oh, why is this happening to me? Yeah. Sometimes we have to take accountability. A hundred percent. And sometimes a, a submission is different in every household. Yeah. Every relations every relationship's definition of submission is very different. Yeah. There might be things that I'll probably find up in your house. I'm like, honey, I ain't doing none yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you yeah. come yeah. to this. Yeah. Come to this. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, we're talking about that. We're talking about that, yeah. They're having a conversation like, to make this. I bring him his food. I bring him the bowl to wash his hands. Mm. I ask me if I need to go out, if I want to go out with my girls. If he says no, then I will stay home. Mm. Like what was there, there was yeah, there was just a different aspect of certain things, and some of it are saying like some of it culturally. Yeah. From where I'm from, where I'm from, even though I grew up in the city, there's absolutely nothing wrong with me bringing water to wash my husband's hands and uh-huh. give him. Yeah. Honey, I'm gonna treat you right. <laughs> <laughs> you you see, you know, his feet <laughs> listen, my 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 mom used to say this. If you treat your husband like a king, you will get a king. You treat Period. him like you boy. treat him like a boy, you're you will get, get, a get a boy. So it's how you treat somebody else. It's just the same thing we're saying. How do you want to be treated? Yeah. So you can't be expecting a queen status and you're treating him like the boss outside too. there. If God you treat him like a king, you treat you like a queen. <laughs> we can't do vice versa. Like mm-hmm. I was saying earlier on, 
Relationships is a two-way street. Yeah. You can't be expected to be treated like royalty and then you ex you're treating him like crap. But then you want to be treated. Come on, I it's see a, a rebuttal. I see. I feel a rebuttal. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. mm. Come on, girl. That tell person me. should understand that she's treating me like a king mm -hmm. because of this, this, this. If this, this person doesn't get it, yeah, it's gonna abuse that. Yeah. I'm not dating a person. Most of most of people don't understand mm -hmm. that. Like you said, the relationship is yeah, a, it's know, a two way street. Two way street, and then. <laughs> Which is the like reason why you shouldn't be committing to yeah. things like, like learning now that when the older you become, mm -hmm. when you're younger, if somebody asked you 10 years ago or 15 years ago, why did you date? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now why you date? Yeah. It's Back then you probably, the status is different. So now you actually know like, you know what, if I'm in a relationship and we can't understand each other just on our conversation of, mm -hmm. I don't like these things. If you can't clean after yourself, I've just cleaned up the house. Do you mind cleaning up your cup? Don't just leave it in the sink, exactly. right? It should be earlier on. So st you know it's what I mean? So you, you're starting, those things we're talking about, general health. We're talking about these things that are very important conversations in our lives. Yeah. And if we're not communicating, you know, understanding each other, mm -hmm. how are you expecting this marriage after this to be a marriage mm -hmm. and you can communicate? Yeah. If you can't communicate as a girl and boy in a relationship, mm -hmm. that's not going to get any better when you're married, is it? I feel like sometimes people can change. Like, okay, I don't believe that people change in marriage. I feel like they've always been the same person. They've just got comfortable, like they've revealed. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> They're like revealing their true self. But it's like, okay, you can treat a king, but how long are you going to treat a king that is hasn't come into his kingship? I just like, feel if like... It's a boy, like are, we, are we going to keep... Are we in a relationship to be training these guys? Girl. Okay, let me, let me give you an example. My, my dad... <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> my, my, my dad uh, lost his job and then my mom was working full-time and everything. Mm -hmm. But my mom would still do exactly the same thing that she did. She'd wake up in the morning, get the kids ready, do the breakfast and all sorts of things. The kids go to school, mm -hmm. come back home, come in and do the dinner and everything else. But my dad was... You probably just see, see him sitting there. Yeah. In this day and age, I'm sure I'm like, hmm. so you're just sitting. Oh, <laughs> so you you went so all day. I've been out. You're not even going to pick up the kids. I you haven't picked up the kids. You haven't even started dinner. You haven't done anything. But then it was just that to be able to just continue just doing your no more general routines. Just because it's not working doesn't mean he's not a man, a man anymore. Yes. And most likely he's losing his confidence anyway because yeah. what makes him a man is being able to provide. And in this yeah. portion, yeah. he's not able to. Now you can't be coming up. You ain't paying for nothing in this house. I'm doing all of this. And before you know it now, you are emasculating your own husband. Yeah. Yeah. You are now fighting over things. That it's, it's just a season because in as much as you lost a job, you could have lost a job. Yes, of course. It, things could just happen that could just alter the trajectory of your relationship. I get How? That. Mm -hmm. But like he was, he was that he was when you married him. Before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. As some, something happened, yeah. that yeah. kind of threw him off course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's different. I mean, as a woman, I know some women who have done that, yeah. especially with um, what's that thing that came uh, that we was locked down. COVID. COVID. Yeah. <laughs> I think that game. I thought you were talking about a person <laughs> <laughs> or a well, movie yeah. or something. Especially with lockdown like that, yeah. really, yeah. you know. Oh, that I had to light a, sh a light on because majority of the time people go to work. Exactly. So you don't face one another. You don't face each other's trust. differences. Uh -huh. So you're forced to oh, face yeah. one another. Yeah, exactly. People lost um, their jobs, like mm. men lost their jobs. I know that happened to somebody. Mm. And, you know, the, he couldn't provide anymore. He couldn't give her the lifestyle anymore. Yeah. And the woman kind of turned on him. Are yeah. you for different. real? Mm. It's different if you meet a guy and he's just still a kid. Yeah. And yeah. then you're having to groom and groom and groom. Mama's it's like, boy. you're not trying to, it's not another son that you're trying to raise. But the thing him. is, when you were dating him, you knew he's behaving like that. What are you doing there? You know, girl, you know me. I'm like, was, listen, out. We're not doing this. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. To know that when you get into a relationship, mm. this is what I like to say. I'm looking at the things that I want mm -hmm. my men yeah. to be doing, mm. or not even just providing for money, but just be generally present, be present. Yeah. yeah. Be present. So she knows what she wants. Mm. Emotionally, she's intelligent. Yeah. She's just not gonna not accept any guy who's yeah. in front of her. A lot of women don't have that. Mm -hmm. Even mature women, 50, 60. But I think it's that. important to like 
you, you know what you want, yeah. but it should also come from knowing who you are. Yeah, and I feel like are, even yeah. with the things that you want, you yeah. need to like work yourself up to be also become that sort of person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You have to also be postured and also ready to receive that. Mm -hmm. But then also, I think potential is great. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. I was about it's to say, great. Everybody yeah. has like potential. potential to be someone. Yeah. yeah. But they need to be <laughs> potential. Okay. <laughs> They need to be potential. And I think it's so important, like dating, I know has like, it can have a bad stigma, yeah. um, especially in, in our faith, but I think it's important to date well yeah. and date with intentionality. Exactly. And not just like, you know, just date and get caught up in like the feelings the and feeling. stuff that you get. Look at these things, yeah. look at these patterns, these like stuff. these little details, do you get yeah. what I mean? And they can become big yeah. things yeah. and I think, if you look at it and you think that you can submit to that in a, in a marriage or relationship, then, then go ahead, honey. Then go ahead, honey. Um, but I heard, um, no, can I, no, no, it's okay. I heard that um, like in marriage or even like in relationship, it's about what you can tolerate. Yeah. Like what the level of tolerance is. Not mm. so much like the love is the glue and it, that's mm. the kind of it over you, that mm -hmm. kind of, that's your foundation. But yeah. it's can you tolerate these things mm. that yeah. he's doing or mm. that she's doing? Mm. If the answer is yes, then you're going to work because mm. those things are not going to go away because mm. no one's perfect. No one's perfect. So we can't yeah. look for like that yeah. perfect person. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like when it's just when if the, the older you get, <clears throat> some of the things you thought were important when you were younger mm. are not important, but then you start being intentional with mm. your relationship. Will I tolerate a boy in, in this relationship? Yeah. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be single. <clears throat> I'd rather be single. Even though why are we even calling someone a boy? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, I just think immaturity or yeah. I think there's things that you know that you don't want in a relationship. You don't want in a man, the person that you're going to call your man, there are things that you don't want in them. You, you are certain, you're expecting a certain behavior, mm -hmm. uh, certain structures, you know, there's something that you expect. Mm -hmm. So then why do I have time entertaining things that are not what I'm expecting? Yeah, a lot of... People I'd rather be just single. Like, you know, just enjoy the ride. Yeah, or... in the 20s, that was fun because you were not thinking anything ahead yeah. of it. But now, is you're saying, first of all, if you start thinking about in, in terms of, you know, being, being a child of God and mm -hmm. relationships, you're becoming a bit more intentional about who you are dating, yeah. why are we yeah. dating, yeah. and worse off now, we've got children. Mm -hmm. I ain't just bringing nobody around my child. That you need to consider. Exactly. I'm not bringing just anybody around my child. Yeah. If you're not serious with me, no, thank you. Yeah. Because then it's not just about me anymore. Yeah. I'm having to think twice, mm. three, four times. Do I really want to be with this person? Mm. How are they going to be like with my daughter? Will we be in a, will they get along? Would he treat my child like his own child? Because mm. I'm not coming to a house of you. It's my, it's your child. It, mm. No, no, no. It, this is going to be a household. Yeah, exactly. Mm. This is going to be a household. Of, this is our home. So I'm, I'm thinking about one, two, three, ten steps ahead before we even start going anywhere else. Yeah. It, 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 it's not working on the first step here. We ain't going nowhere. That's it. Because I feel like sometimes things can switch as well. Like, especially, like, as you women, like, you, you've set yourself up, like, mm. you're all patterned up. Like, you know, you've got your career, you've got your money coming in. Yeah. And then it's like vice versa for the man. So you kind of have to compromise. Yeah. And sometimes if you have like your children or you've got your child, mm. at first they can be like, oh yeah, I can accept you. Da, da, da. <laughs> and then something happens and it's like, it becomes You're on your, your own. children. Or if, You're you, on your if own. they come moving in with you, it's my house. Yeah. It's like how, I don't know. I feel it's like tricky. sometimes we could be at our own detriment as well. Like mm. even being single for so long. Yeah. And like you start building to up certain characteristics. <laughs> yeah. It's like how do we... No, it's good. I feel like we have to be self-aware. Yeah. We do. And we have to, like, even when you was talking, yeah. um, I was just thinking also, like, what can we have to be aware about what we are able to offer? Yeah. Do you get know myself? We have to be really, like, realistic yeah. with what we are able to offer yeah. um, in the relationship. Um, you also have to remember, it's literally, like, it's not just... Because I think sometimes as women, maybe even just as humans, sometimes mm. when we get into a relationship, we always think about what the other person is going to bring yeah. to me yeah. and my environment but you also have to think about your what you're bringing to that environment as yeah. well yeah. and that could even just look like what are you like when you're upset 
Yeah. How do you respond? How do you exactly. speak when you are upset? Do you exactly. get what I'm saying? And you have to be able to like refine that and change that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have to be aware. I always like to see it as like, what's the experience that you get? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. It's like when people come into your space. Yeah. What, what are they experiencing? What is the experience that they have. Yeah. I think it'd be a good thing to ask your, you know, like your close friends. It's like, so yes. what am I? <laughs> What am I like? What am I like? <laughs> you know, because I think we need mirrors in life because sometimes yes. you think you're perfect. And yet, you know, you're like, oh, friends, like, we are your friend, but we just have to tolerate you because we're your friends. It's no, it's true. But... <laughs> Sometimes I'll be thinking I'm perfect. No, it's true. Because I know my friends. I know this one. This is how they are. This one is that. Yeah. And I just take my friends. You do they tolerate. They, yeah, you tolerate us a lot. Sometimes and I have to be like, Tony, was I rude? I'm sorry. But I'm just so used because yeah. I know how my friends are. So I relate to my friends the way they are. Mm. So I'm, 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 yeah. it takes, I don't, th I've, I don't think I've ever been angry with any, anyone. Mm. No. No. Because no, I tend to Maybe just. Maybe me, but you do hold your peace. Though. But I hold, that's what yeah. I say. It's like, you I'll hold, hold my peace. peace. I won't say exactly what I want to say and I know when she's upset <laughs> but it's like god give me grace mm -hmm. but you know your person so but then it's like one of those things where sometimes you need a mirror to be yeah. you know just to ask 100%. to people it's like what am I like am I short tempered am I um uh am what's I it called am, am I, I rude? rude am I sometimes I think it's 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 nice to have those type of conversations yeah but then at the same time you have to be open to receive it yeah oh, it true. Can be in friendships exactly where you're treading <laughs> like on glass like yeah can i say like this yeah. 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 So yeah what kind of a lot of friendships. people are not ready to to hear the truth yeah, yeah. like this thing this trend that's going around or uh, i uh, accept the truth and i take it whatever uh, mm. God. there's something there's a line yeah i'll say oh you know the other day when i said this 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 to you mm. you didn't respond i didn't like the way you responded and you yeah. should say I accept the truth and I'll believe it. Yeah. And then you move on. It's, it's going on TikTok. Okay. Oh. And a lot couple of things. Because <laughs> it's, like, it's hard to it's the, the truth. truth. But yeah, you're asking for the truth, but yeah. are you ready to receive that? Yeah, but also like, there's a nice, like not a nice way, but I feel like you can still be kind. Like, because we're all... You don't have to afflict a person just because all in the name of just saying I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. speaking the truth. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. There's a way that you can actually like speak to people. We're all mature adults. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's not She's what not you your say, child. It's how you it's say, how you say, say it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's how you say it. We can something. all have a mature conversation. Your friend might be upset. Mm -hmm. And if you're the person that's also going to tell them this truth, mm -hmm. you should also know that there it could be a what if. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm going to share something that's going to be difficult to hear. Yeah. So I should expect that there's going to be um, a negative response or mm. some emotions. Yeah. yeah. Not for, and so you can also prepare yourself. When the person's emotional, yeah. you now start getting angry. Exactly. Yeah. It takes maturity and grace. Let's give each other grace that's to kind it. of like have these difficult conversations. That's true. I think I remember one of my friends, her daughter was autistic, mm. but she did not know that her daughter was autistic. Oh, wow. So then, of course, we used to come over to each other's houses. Our daughters are literally 10 weeks apart. So the girls kind of grew, grew up, they grew up, up together. Mm -hmm. Then the certain things you'll notice, I'm like, but the child is not doing that. But then, of course, we parent very differently. Mm -hmm. I'm the parent that says, you're eating your breakfast sitting on that table. <laughs> I have no child running. I'm sorry, you're not running around in all mm -hmm. of this nonsense. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. You might do that in your house, that's you. But mm -hmm. in my house, you sit down, we Did eat. You know she was autistic? I didn't know at the okay. time. So it's just as observing. Now, you know, when yeah. because the girls yeah, were growing yeah, together, you start observing certain things. I'm like, you would go in. My friend probably should feed her child, right? So there's TV. She'll give her a spoon and then she'll run off and then she'll go and stand in the front of the television. And then she'll come back and then she'll call her and she'll feed her again. And I'm thinking, I can imagine how it, you like. inside me, I'm just like, why is the child not just sitting on the table? <laughs> Sit on the table, eat and finish, then go and enjoy your television. Mm. But then, as I said, there's things are going on because we do things very differently as parents, yeah. you know. Then, then later on, the other things anyway that kind of was, you know, for me, I was like, oh, I think maybe something's not quite right. Yeah. And then I say to her, I was like, I think your daughter might be autistic. So she didn't really say anything. She didn't say anything. She just looked at me. And then the next thing, she called one of her friends. And then she said, oh, by the way, Natalia just thought my daughter is autistic. And then the, the lady, she's a teacher, the other friend, she was like, well, actually, I've been meaning to tell you that, but I did, oh, not, know how to, I did not know how to tell you. Because then it's like one of those things, you don't know the type of truth. Yeah. You don't know how someone will handle it. But then I'm thinking, because we've been friends for a very long time, mm -hmm. I thought if I say something to you, you might take it lightly, but then sometimes yeah. it hurts more anyway when your friend tells you something anyway. Yeah, because you just don't know how to 
you just don't know how to to take things mm. yeah. and especially like that it's not just a light, so thing. It's not a light thing it's it's yeah. a life altering situation where yeah. you're now starting thinking a whole lot more other things on top of that and just thinking yeah. you know so sometimes we want grace just... to give but we should also give grace to receive exactly, yeah, that's exactly. Just that. yeah. it's like a change of situation you don't know how to react yeah. because like i think all four of us we can be told exactly the same thing and we it and we take it very exactly we can take it you could just sit there and be frozen and that's it. And someone else will be like, okay, fine, let's go, let's go, let's go. Someone else, what, what can we do? What can we do? So it all depends on how we take on a situation. Yeah. But sometimes it's, it's just the way we are built, isn't it? Like yeah. how, how we deal with the hard Some, situations. Sometimes I would even like reason, like why, do you, why did you bring this information to me? Because sometimes... Exactly. Like not with like a circumstance like this. I think that is like very... Just a, yeah, 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 but sometimes I feel like, is this coming from a place of love or are you just oh, judgment? judgment? Are you using this to like, you know, like because no, it's, it's irritating time, yeah. you or yeah. is it because, no girl, you need to change this floor because yeah. if not, it will be to your detriment. Yeah. So I think sometimes we even need to challenge because mm. I know I do. Yeah. Why do I want to come and tell you that you're, the way you do X, Y, X, Y, Z is yeah. a problem? Yeah. Like, why is it a problem? Yeah. Is it going to affect her? Do you think it will affect them in the future, yeah. in their relationships and yeah. stuff like that? So yeah. I think it's also important to challenge yeah. the why. Yeah. And I think that that will help you navigate on how and how you communicate these things, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes in those circumstances, it's like the friend reveals how they truly feel about you. <laughs> you. That's when you see, you're like, right, all this is coming out now. It feels like yeah. ammunition, isn't it? Like, when they're coming, it's like, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. And I thought we were friends all yeah. this time. It's better for a person to come and tell you straight away than maybe like if you hear it from someone else yeah. gossiping about you. That's like more irritating. Yeah. I know there is a friend of mine that we went to college together actually, um, she's Nigerian, but when she comes to my parents' house in London, they just, they, the door is open for her, mm -hmm. we know each other for a long time. Yeah. She was the only one who literally was standing up to me, mm -hmm. because I used to be very stubborn. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she tell me something, yeah, yeah, I want to know, it's right. Yeah. And then she was like, no, no, you're wrong. Yeah. And then we lived two days, we were all talking, and then the third day, I'd just be like, hey, you know, you were right. Tell me about that. And then we're still friends up to now. But that's, that's good friendship, isn't me. it? Exactly. That's good friendship. When you have, when you have that friendship, that, yeah. Which means that when you have a person who comes straightforward to tell you something, you yeah. should appreciate that person. Mm. That's maturity. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of this is like down to maturity because, boy, not everybody will be able to like yeah. receive. Yeah. Yeah. It's just mental, but yeah. So, guys, this is at the end of uh, this. Um, episode. Beautiful <laughs> discussion. Yeah, beautiful discussion. Stories of life. It. <laughs> I know. There's been laughter, there's been tears, there's yeah. been like so much things. But um, make sure you stay tuned and yeah, there's gonna, definitely going to be more. Bye. Bye bye. bye.